Good morning and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We pray that you are in good health. We ask all present to please respect the instructions given by our parish ushers and the guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers as requested, maintaining a social distance of two meters and wearing face masks when entering, leaving, or moving from one place to another within the church. Uh, we will not have a collection at the offertory, but you can use the boxes uh, provided at the entrance or exit of the church or donate online. Thank you for your continuing support of the parish. At the time of Holy Communion, further instructions will be given, and at the end of Mass, we ask that you follow the usher's instructions for e exiting from the church. Our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch, and our opening hymn is Canticle of the Sun, number 542. <laughs> Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With Good morning, everybody. Morning, Today we celebrate on this 1st of September the annual feast of, uh, that Pope Francis uh, has you know, promoted, of course, from his encyclical five years ago, Laudato Si. So today is the prayer for, worldly prayer for creation. And it's the beginning of a pretty well a month-long celebration of creation, the season of creation from September 1st to October 4th, the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi. So in our Mass today, we will have special readings and, uh, you know, we have our special symbols for our month, the globe, our world, and plants. 
representing life on earth. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery today, and let us ask the Lord for forgiveness for the times we have destroyed uh, our creation. We have not respected our creation, the great gift of God. We ask the Lord's forgiveness. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, Let the earth bring forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree that bears fruit with its seed in it. God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures, and on the earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of crawling living creatures with which the water teems and all kinds of winged birds. God saw that it was good and God blessed them saying, be fertile, multiply and fill the water of the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth. Then God said, let the earth bring forth every kind of living creature tame animals, crawling things, and every kind of wild animal. And so it happened. God made every kind of wild animal, every kind of tame animal, and every kind of thing that crawls on the ground. God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make human beings in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the ear, the tame animals, the wild, all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the earth. God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them male and female. He created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the ear, and all the living things that crawl on the earth. God looked at everything he had made and found it very good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
and the stars which you arranged. What are we that you should keep us in mind? Men and women that you care for us. Oh Lord, oh glory and honor, gave us power over the works of your hands, put all things under our feet. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. O oh Lord, our oh God. Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you are to eat or drink, or about your body, what you are what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the sky. They do not sow or reap, they gather nothing into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more important than they? Can any of you by worrying add a single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wildflowers grow. They do not work or spin. But I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was clothed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass of the field which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you, O you of little faith? So do not worry and say, what are we to eat, or what are we to drink, or what are we to wear? All these things the pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. The Gospel of the Lord. And so, as I said, today we mark the World Day of Prayer for Creation, and we begin the season of creation, which ends at the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi on October 4th. We mark five years since Laudato Si, the encyclical of Pope Francis on the care for our earth, our common home. We recalled in our first reading the creation of all things, and God saw that they were all good, including the creation, of course, of human beings. Each one of us has a place which is unique to us in God's plan of creation. So too each creature has a place that is unique 
when we look at the biodiversity and the ecology of our natural world. We are all interrelated, and we sometimes forget that we depend on the land and the sea and the air to, we depend on creation to live. We need to show reverence for our earth and the place of all creatures within it and work hard to protect the beauty of God's creation. The loving energy of God flows through all creation. We need for all people to have not only a spiritual conversion, but also an ecological conversion. And that's very difficult. For much of our human history, we have exploited the earth. And now we reap the consequences of our actions when we see the de devastating effects of climate change on our earth. And that climate change affects the poor of our world the most. And the poor of the world are the very ones who work day and night with, for low wages so we can live our richer lifestyle here in Canada and elsewhere. Maybe we can learn the lesson of the gospel today to reorder the priorities of our lives and live our lives in a more simpler way so we worry more about the important things in life, like making the kingdom of God a reality here and now, not making our money and our possessions a priority and sharing our blessings more with the poor of the world. So the season of creation in the next month offers all of us a unique opportunity to renew our vocation to become stewards of God's creation. Pope Francis reminds us that care for creation is at the center of our Christian faith. It's not something that's added on. It's at the center of our Christian faith. While it says in Genesis that humans have dominion over the earth, and its creatures, it also means we also have a grave duty and responsibility to protect it and to care for it and to live in harmony with it. Our prayers of intercession for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Bishop Peter, and all those who lead and guide our church through these difficult times we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh, Creator God, in this month of creation time, teach us to see your footprints in the beauty of creation. Inspire us to care for the earth, to respect the rights of all peoples and all living species, to share in your gifts today, and to be always mindful of those who come after us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh, God of all life, we give thanks for the gift of the earth, our common home. At this time, many people, the oceans, and the ecosystems of the earth are struggling to survive. Help us to change our ways and guide us to live a life which is not centered exclusively on ourselves, but on the needs of others and the worship of you as our ultimate concern. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for all the sick recommended to our prayers. Today we especially pray for Peggy Reed. For the healing power of the Holy Spirit upon her, we pray to the Lord. We pray today for all those who have died, those of our loved ones who have gone before us in faith, and remember, we remember now them in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the gracious gifts you give us every day, especially the gift of your creation. We make all of our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
and pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we humbly we come eagerly with our offerings to your altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Father, most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest a resurrection. So with the angels and saints we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle St. John the Baptist, with St. Francis of Assisi, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. And we pray with confidence. 
confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share the peace of Christ now with one another. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. A prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe, prudent, and respectful manner, we ask that you please respect and adhere to the following instructions. Instead of the individual attestation, Amen, by communicants at the time of receiving Holy Communion, there will be one general attestation for everyone before the distribution begins. Those wishing to receive Communion are asked to ensure that their face mask is properly in place before coming forward. Remain in their pew until invited forward by others, by the ushers. Maintain social distancing of two meters in the communion line. Sanitize their hands before receiving communion. As communicants approach the front of the communion line, we ask that you sanitize your hands, bow towards the host, in silence, receive the host in your hands. Move to the side to consume the host. Return to your pew as directed by the ushers. Any person who cannot receive Holy Communion in the hand is welcome to come forward to receive a blessing. The body of Christ.
Our communion hymn is Seeds Scattered and Sown, number 604. Mass with a prayer composed for this occasion by Pope Francis. Let us pray. Father, we praise you with all creatures. They came forth from your all-powerful hand. They are yours, filled with your presence and your tender love. Praise be to you, Son of God, Jesus. Through, through you all things were made. You were formed in the womb of Mary, our mother. You became part of this earth. and You gazed upon this world with human eyes. Today you are alive in every creature in your risen glory. Praise be to you. Holy Spirit, by your light you guide this world towards the Father's love and accompany creation as it groans in travail. You also dwell in our hearts and you inspire us to do what is good. Praise be to you, Triune Lord, wondrous community of infinite love. Teach us to contemplate you in the beauty of the universe, for all things speak of you. Awaken our praise and thankfulness for all every being that you have made. Give us the grace to feel profoundly joined to everything that is. God of love, show us our place in this world as channels of your love for all the creatures of this earth. For not one of them is forgotten in your sight. 
Enlighten those who possess power and money that they may avoid the sin of indifference, that they may love the common good, advance the weak, and care for this world in which we live. The poor and the earth are crying out, O Lord, seize us with your power and light. Help us to protect our life, to prepare for a better future, for the coming of your kingdom of justice, peace, love, and beauty. Praise be to you. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Our Master is then to let us go now in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is number 532, For the Fruit of All Creation. Mm-hmm. 